म्यूचुअल फंड मैनेजर हैज द कंप्लीट फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी टू इन्वेस्ट इन लार्ज मिड और स्मॉल एंड दिस इज वेयर फ्लेक्सी कैप म्यूचुअल फंड आर ऑफरिंग दिस ग्रेट बेनिफिट to investors because the mutual fund manager has complete flexibility hi everyone if you invest in mutual funds and do not understand flexi cap mutual funds you are missing out on great benefits that flexi cap mutual funds offer but good news is in this video i am going to cover everything that you need to know about flexi cap mutual funds this video is divided into two parts in part 1 we are going to discuss why should you invest in flexi cap mutual funds and also what is the difference between flexi cap mutual funds and multi cap mutual funds in part 2 we are going to analyze few flexi cap mutual funds and understand which ones are the ones which are going to give us the best returns in the coming months also if you watched few other youtube videos you would have realized by now that parag parik and pgim has been rated as the best flexi cap mutual funds but please do not invest in those funds until you watch this video Lastly you are going to learn at least 5 to 10 things in this video so please watch this without skipping let us now understand what is happening in terms of the market trends on mutual funds what you see on my screen is latest data on mutual fund investments right if you look at it very closely what you will see is that flexi cap mutual funds here has attracted 35000 crore rupees in year 2122 while large cap mutual funds only attracted 13000 crores um, in investments look at the mid cap here 16000 crores and look at the small cap here 10000 crores only so we can clearly see a trend emerging here that in the last one year flexi cap mutual funds have attracted the maximum investment when it comes to equity investments right now why this is happening is very important for us to understand there is a one great benefit that flexi cap mutual funds offer which is a limitation in large cap mutual funds as well as mid cap and small cap and that is primarily because of many investors are moving into flexi cap mutual funds so let me show you what is that limitation and why flexi cap mutual funds are providing that great benefit because of which people are moving into the flexi cap mutual fund so if you look at this data here this is a data that has been created by nippon india mutual fund house okay and if we look at it very closely what you will see is that let us say in year 2020 if we compare small cap gave the best return as compared to mid cap or large cap categories right but if you look at year 2018 and 19 we clearly see that mid cap and small cap actually gave worse returns negative returns here and large caps outperformed both mid cap and as well as small cap right likewise if you carry on going in the past what we are likely to see is that every year different type of mutual funds have given different returns and they have outperformed each other right it's a very important concept that we need to remember is that depending on the market conditions large cap mid cap and small cap funds are going to behave very differently right and this is one of the limitations i call for uh, small cap large cap as well as mid cap small uh, uh, mutual funds wherein the mutual fund manager so the mutual fund manager here he has or she has very limited choices because let us say there is a bear market going on right in the bear market typically small cap mutual funds will not perform right the market is very volatile investors will move towards more or less large cap mutual funds right now when that happens the the mutual fund manager of the small cap mutual fund has very little choice they have to only stick to small cap mutual funds for majority of their investment right and that is where the limit comes right sebi has some specific limits imposed on large mid and small cap mutual funds therefore it is very restrictive and this mutual fund manager who is investing your money has very limited choices right now in order for this to overcome what happened was multi cap mutual funds came into market right now what are multi cap mutual funds let us very quickly understand and i want to in fact show you sebi's um conditions recent conditions on multi cap mutual funds right so principally multi cap mutual funds are those mutual funds where uh, the fund manager the mutual fund manager can invest in mid cap can invest in large cap as well as can invest in small cap right what are the conditions let's very quickly understand so multi cap mutual funds they have to invest 75% in the equity right 25% they can invest in cash or debt or whatever but the main condition here is that 
out of the 75 percent they have to maintain minimum balance of 25 percent in the large cap companies 25 percent in the mid cap companies and 25 percent in the small cap companies so Although multi cap mutual funds are more diversified that they're investing in large, mid and small, all three categories. The biggest limitation there is that they have to minimum put 25% in each of the categories. Now you tell me if in a market condition where small cap mutual funds are not performing, they also have to maintain this ratio of 25%, right? Although it is that the limit is lower now. So they are hopefully there is more flexibility here, but multi cap mutual funds also have this restriction of minimum um, limit across these three types of categories right to solve this problem very recently just two years ago is when flexi cap mutual funds were issued by sebi right flexi cap mutual funds are those mutual funds in which mutual fund manager have to invest minimum 60 percent of the investment in the equity and remaining 35 percent they can invest in anything Okay, so the condition is 65%. Now out of this 65%, they can invest in any large mid or small cap stocks. There is no minimum, there is no maximum, the entire market is open. The mutual fund manager has the complete flexibility to invest in large, mid or small. And this is where flexi cap mutual funds are offering this great benefit to investors because the mutual fund manager has complete flexibility that's why they are named as flexi cap mutual funds also complete freedom depending on the market conditions they can easily move their investments and rebalance their portfolio if let us say if it's a bear market small cap mutual funds are not doing well they might move some of these to their uh, chosen mid cap mutual funds or large cap mutual funds that is the biggest benefit that flexi cap mutual funds offer if you're liking this video so far please press the like button it will motivate me to make more such videos now let us understand and analyze top flexi cap mutual funds and which ones we should look to invest in for that i am on ticker tape and let us just go ahead and go to mutual fund screener and what we are going to do as a first step is go into equity category and we are going to select flexi cap mutual funds here okay what you see is that we have got 34 flexi cap mutual funds and by default we have got a return of last three years so i've sorted them out by last three years returns okay now one thing that you will notice is that flexi cap mutual funds were only introduced two years ago but we are able to see last three years returns simply because these mutual funds were categorized into different categories before flexi cap mutual funds were launched they might be large cap multi cap or uh, mid cap but they have now changed to flexi cap mutual funds but therefore the last three years returns we are able to see right now the first thing we are going to do is add a filter here and find out the alpha of these mutual funds so what you will see is that i've got alpha here we are going to again sort it by by alpha so the top ones are on um, the first first five funds are giving us the back maximum alpha for people who do not know alpha very quickly summarizing alpha indicates how much extra returns a mutual fund has given as compared to its benchmark so if the benchmark is let us say nifty 500 which is the case in majority of the flexi cap mutual funds if nifty 500 has given let us say 10 percent returns and if the alpha of this fund for example is 5.45 it means this fund gave 15.45 returns so it is the excess return that the fund has given over the benchmark right now if we compare these funds i am not going to consider any of those mutual funds that has not given me at least 2.5 percent and return excess return than benchmark because it just then why would i bother investing in flexi cap mutual funds i'll just simply go and invest in index mutual funds like nifty 500 or nifty 550 or nifty 100 right because if these mutual funds have given me more than at least two percent extra returns than benchmark i am likely to consider them so i am going to discard all these mutual funds that you see which have given me negative or less than two percent returns right so that brings me to my list which is that these top five mutual funds here right so these top mutual fund five mutual funds has given me they have given me uh, more than 
index returns which is 2.5 percent right now how do i filter further to understand which out of these five are the better mutual fund returns in terms of flexi cap mutual fund so for that what we are going to do is we are going to apply one more filter few few more filters actually so have a look at it so first thing i want to apply is time since inception we will talk about it also i want to look at some of the returns in the last one year absolute returns in last one year absolute returns in last six months let us go for six months here okay now what you will notice is that so if you look at the first uh, this this flexi cap mutual fund which is white oak capital uh, flexi cap mutual fund although it has given the maximum returns the fund is very new it has only been launched in last three months likewise baroda bnp parivas it's only launched last three months i'm not going to invest my money if i was the investor here because these funds are very new and there may be some risk in investing in new mutual funds right so that leaves me with hdfc quant as well as icici uh, proof flexi cap mutual funds right the next thing i want to look at the absolute returns now generally i never look at absolute mutual fund returns in the last one year or six months but there is a specific reason at right now we should look at the last one year and six months returns primarily because what is happening in the last one year if you look at it step back if you look at it there are three big events that has happened in the last six, one, six months to one year, right? So first one is US and Europe is almost in recession, technically. Number two is Russia-Ukraine war has created so much of uncertainty globally. And also number three is COVID effect is still lingering on, right? So if any mutual fund in the last six months to one year has given me double digit returns, that tells me that gives me more confidence about that particular flexi cap mutual fund so if you look at here hdfc here they have given good returns in last absolute return last one year as well as last uh, six months likewise quant flexi cap mutual fund has also given really really good returns if i compare with icica proof flexi cap mutual fund they have also given good returns no doubt but if i were to compare these top three funds become my choice of flexi cap mutual funds but also have a look at their expense ratio. So if you look at their expense ratio here, from an expense ratio perspective, um, HDFC FlexiCap Mutual Fund is slightly on higher side. Okay. This is on higher side while Quant is uh, quite cheap to buy and ICICI is even the cheapest one, right? But looking at all these factors, my recommendation will be to consider these top two funds here, HDFC and Quant, okay? Primarily because in the last six months to one year, they have been able to generate better returns than the index as well as overall market. And that gives me a lot of confidence about HDFC and Quant. Although I am not a, a financial advisor, I can't give you advice. Please make sure you go ahead and do your own research. Maybe look at HDFC and Quant separately. Go to their website, understand their mutual fund strategy as well before you make your final decision. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, press the like button. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can bring more content to you. Signing off, keep rocking.